The Supreme Court passed down a not guilty verdict to a man who claimed that military service violates his conscience. People of a certain faith have been ruled not guilty for refusing to serve in the military, but this is the first time that a man who cited his conscience was found not guilty. A man surnamed Chung was indicted in 2017 for violating the Military Service Act. He did not join the military even after receiving an enlistment notice. Chung claimed during the trial that his decision was made in accordance with his belief in nonviolence. As a sexual minority, he couldn't tolerate state authority that forces masculinity and claimed that the military engaging in war cannot coexist with a Christian faith that respects life. He cited his past participation in anti-war and anti-violence protests as evidence of his conviction. In the first trial, the court ruled that his personal belief cannot be a legitimate reason for refusing military service and sentenced him to 18 months in prison. But the situation changed when the Supreme Court found the conscientious objector not guilty in 2018. As a result, the appellate court's verdict on Zhang was that he appears to have objected to military service in accordance with his conscience that opposes violence and war. The Supreme Court made the same ruling. If he is a true conscientious objector, he has a legitimate reason to refuse enlistment as stipulated in the Military Service Act. In February, the country's highest court gave a not guilty verdict to a man who refused to attend reservist training due to his nonviolence belief. In the wake of the final ruling, Chung now stands to fulfill 36 months of alternative service after undergoing the Military Manpower Administration's deliberation. Over the last 12 months, 16 men have cited individual belief in nonviolence and asked for alternative service.